Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to create many curious crossbreed creatures. And I hope you guys are ready to return to our laboratory today because we have a very fun mix! We have managed to be able to get our hands on the genetics of another beautiful snow leopard. And the snow leopard mixes that we do often turn out to be so much fun, in part because they are so fluffy! They are so fun! fluffy and I really love that about the snow leopards in real life they are quite fluffy in order to help themselves stay nice and warm in the very cold mountain ranges that they roam and they have a supremely fluffy tail a tail that is much fluffier than this can I fluffify that tail I can a little bit if I do that they have extremely fluffy tails that not only are excellent tools to help them balance across the mountain ranges that they roam as they search for prey but also help them to keep their nose warm when you see pictures of snow leopards who have their nose wrapped around themselves while they lay down and then put over their face, that is not only being absolutely adorable and freaking cute, but it is a practical move that the snow leopard does in order to really help keep the warmth from escaping around its face and especially from around its very chilly nose. I always thought that was such an amazing snow leopard fact. And I'm very excited that we have a very lovely snow leopard in the laboratory today. Are you guys ready to put on your safety goggles? Put on your laptop? coats, take out your notes, break open those petri dishes, and get ready because one of you guys has actually brought in Amy Wolfsong, one of our wonderful community members who's been around for quite a while. Hello, Amy. Was chosen by the random generator to bring in Wolfsong, the pit bull. And this is actually a pit bull, a Merle pit bull, which I had no idea they came in this coloration until I was doing a little digging into what kind of varieties of pit bulls we could have. And this amazing, beautifully done pit bull by Hayden Chase 11 is right over here. And one of the things that really intrigued me about the animals that they've made is that they make quite a few different like beautiful dogs and one of the things I really want to try out are some of the mixes they did like a border collie and a husky that just sounds awesome so thank you very much to Hayden Chase 11 for creating such an amazing pit bull I definitely want to add this guy in to more of my Sims 4 worlds because it's such a unique coloration I am a sucker for the merle coloring on any dogs and I'm excited to have the pit bull and you might ask why a pit bull because that is the animal that the random generator chose to Day. Yes, I have a random generator for our random generator series, so sometimes I can either use your guys' suggestions or I can randomly generate which animals we should mix together, and the generator chose a snow leopard and a pit bull today. So he's not a mixed breed, he's actually a pit bull, so we're going to put that down. And we are going to be putting their genes together and creating some puppies now. These are going to be Petri dish puppies, so don't worry. As soon as we're done doing all of the testing, Kayla will be released off into the wonderful, or Kala, excuse me, will be released off into the wonders of her wild world. And somebody can take this amazing pit bull home. You guys saw where to go ahead and adopt him. He is stunning. I just love seeing what you guys can create on the gallery. It's just amazing. And let's see what their babies might look like now. I wonder, I like how the ears aren't cropped. So the ears are just left normal instead of cut. And so we're gonna have, hopefully, I'm hoping for floppy eared snow leopards. But we'll have to go ahead and see what we get. All right, let's mix those jeans together. The baby who, oh, hello cutie. You're not the one we're going for, but there we go. Oh, wow! So I think we ended up with like a different pit bull coloring on this one. She's so cute! So this is actually going to be Erin! Welcome, Erin! I'm so excited that you get to be one of our lab assistants today and have a puppy named after you. And Erin, I hope you're not too despairing, but you are actually a troublemaker who is a glutton and a sleuth. So it sounds like you will get into trouble searching for your favorite snacks, which sounds so cute and so puppy-like, doesn't it? But Erin, you also suggest future crossbreeds as a tiger and a cattle dog, which sound amazing, or a border collie and a tiger. You guys have a ton of tiger suggestions lately, so I have a feeling we're going to be getting another tiger in the lab soon. I hope you guys were willing to help me feed it. All right, so Erin, you go ahead and play in the puppy play yard for just a second. And we're going to go ahead and pull up the random comment from the comment generator. And the next one is... <gasps> Oh, it's a snow leopard color. Yes, and I think we're going to have the floppy ears. Yes, yes. 
yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is very exciting. And this is actually going to be Ghost. Kitty suggested the name Ghost, which is fantastic. So we're gonna give him the name Ghost. Perfect because he's actually got one blind eye and one beautiful blue eye. And you cannot produce dairy unless somebody snuck that into the Petri dish ghost. So let's try again. Still, look, look, we'll breed some cows later, guys. Stop slipping dairy genes into this mix. It's, it's just not going to work. There we go. And ghost, you are actually a couch potato who is independent and a troublemaker. <laughs> that sounds like a complete handful, but extremely cute. Oh, welcome, welcome. So we're going to send you off to the play yard to be watched over by our lab assistants. Kitty, I hope you're going to take a cool suggestion. All right, so this, once we get those snow leopard jeans mixed, oh, look at the galaxy eyes. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so cool. But this is going to be Samantha with an extra H. Samantha, welcome into the lab. I hope you're going to help us take care of this beautiful little one. And you suggest a tiger mixed with a Hyrulean wolf. I am so excited about that idea because you guys really seemed to warm up to the idea of having Hyrulean wolf mixes. So we will be working with them in the future. Maybe with the foxes, the nine tail foxes, that would be a really good mix. I'm gonna write that down too. Nine tail fox and Hyrulean wolf. There we go. One of these days I need to start a Breath of the Wild expedition with all of you. All right, and Samantha, maybe not the producing of wool. You really want to produce wool, my dear, but you're actually going to be stubborn, jumpy, and independent. Oh, look at you, and you're going to have a little floppy ears. You're so cute. I can't wait to see if you're going to be super fluffy. All right, let's pull up the next little batch of a Petri dish puppy. Ready? Oh, that's such a cute puppy. Okay, we're just going to take a peek at whatever this crossbreed would be. Just really quickly, a side experiment. Ah, super fluffy with really cute ears. Okay, that would be adorable. Somebody take this little one home as a side experiment because it is so cute. But the next Petri dish puppy is going to be, ooh, a beautiful like blue-eyed snow leopard. The blue eyes that Wolf Song has mixed with the snow leopard body. Oh, it's so lovely. This is going to be Amy after Amy Edwards. Welcome, Amy. And you are also a troublemaker, which seems to be a running theme amongst everybody here, who's jumpy and hopefully able to scale those mountain ranges just fine and quite playful, which is very cute. Welcome, welcome, Amy. And you're having trouble getting the, the mods in Sims 4? Okay, I'll try to think about making a tutorial video on how to install the mods that work for our more exotic animals in the future. Hopefully that'll help you find the horses and moose and everything else into your game as well. All right, and we're going to have another Petri dish puppy pop out. And this time, this is going to be Fox. And Fox, you suggest a tiger and a bear crossbreed. Now, that would be fun, too. You guys are really on top of it with all the tigers. Jeez, I'm going to need to dig those uh, tiger jeans back out. Let's get you up here. Fox. Fox, you are not a fox, but you are a snow leopard pit bull mix, which I hope is quite fun. And you are active, aggressive, and jumpy. Hmm. I hope that you're going to have... Oh, look at your cute little face. Oh, I really hope that you're going to have a happy life, little fox. All right, you go play with little, little fox the puppy in the play yard. And then let's go ahead and pull up the final one. We're going to come down here. We've got little Kayla. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we actually ended up with the Merle jeans again. This looks like such a cool mix between the Pitbull and the Snow Leopard. So I'm not going to complain. And this is going to be Suhib. And Suhib, oh, don't fret. We will have more. Suhib. There we go. We will have more Wildcraft adventures up in the future. My paws are just full with, well, puppy paws at the moment. And then all of the other adventures we've got going. But I've not forgotten about Wildcraft. Never fret. And Suhib, you're going to be a loyal, jumpy, and a hunter. Look at you! Okay, guys, it's time! Now that we have all of these mixes, we're going to bring them in from the puppy play yard, see what they grow up into, and hopefully I'll put them up on the gallery where some of you guys will actually be able to take them home. Erin, you're up first. 
Erin, you're so cute! Look at that, we have the fluff of the snow leopard with the folded ears of the not cropped eared pit bull. Beautiful blue eyes, and just such a fun coloration! I really like it! Erin, you look really sweet. You look like somebody like could take you home, maybe to some of the snowy mountains of Mount Komorebe with uh, Komorabi? Yeah, Komorebi? I think it's Komorebi. Uh, in the new snowy adventures for Sims 4, you look like you'd be quite comfy there. I think you're, you'd make an excellent like ski companion dog. Oh, and you just look like so nice. Look at that friendly face. Is it because you're asking for treats? It's probably because you're asking for treats, but that's okay. You're still adorable. All right, Ghost, you're up next. Let's go ahead and see what a Pitbull Snow Leopard crossbreed grows up into. Ghost! Hey! Okay, so we've got more of the Pitbull facial structure going on here with the Pitbull ears. And Ghost, somebody snuck some dragon jeans into the mix. That's not going to happen. Skinnier tail. Overall, pretty interesting body. We're not quite as fluffy as I thought we would be, but I love the little flop ears. That's really all I'm after today. It's just those adorable little floppy ears. Good job, ghost. Okay, okay. Not, not too huge a variant on the physical features of the parent so far, but there's many more puppies left. Samantha, do you have some surprises for us? <laughs> Samantha! Oh, Samantha, you just look like a really friendly pit bull with a very tiny tail. How did you end up with such a tiny tail? I bet that thing really hurts when you wag it. Like, I, we used to have Great Danes, and they have really skinny long tails like that. And man, when those tails hit you and the dogs are really excited and wagging them, it hurts. It can leave bruises. But Samantha, I hope you have a very happy, wonderful life. Look at your little floppy ears. And I love that you have those stunning small galaxy eyes. Oh, you're going to just absolutely enchant someone wonderful one day. I just know it. All right, Amy, you're up next. This is more like it. <laughs> All right, Amy is not fluffy, but actually has the thinner fur of the Pitbull parent with the huge face. Look at this muzzle. So we have the outline of the snow leopard muzzle, but we have a little bit more length to it. So kind of like the opposite of a short Pitbull nose. This is amazing. Amy, you are like ready to take down an entire buffalo on your own. Like forget about these tiny little sheep up in the mountain ranges. You're going to go take down some of the big prey. Look at that! Wow! I feel like you could, like, dive board off of that nose. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> All right, Amy, thank you so much for breaking up the genetic variants with the facial features. Let's see what little Fox has to offer. <gasps> Fox, you're so cute! You are so fluffy! We have the size and the fluff of the snow leopard mixed with the good heart and the floppy ears of the pit bull. I love it. And those eyes like peering into the beautiful winter wilderness of the mountains that no doubt you could call home. Oh, that's so cool. Fox, you look fantastic. This is great, guys. I really love these mixes. And finally, we have a little Shira, but just to round things off. Oh, and we don't have the floppy ears, but we do have a really adorable face. And somebody snuck the dragon jeans into the tail again. Oh, and look at that fluff. We're much fluffier than dad. Oh, yeah, we're a lot fluffier than dad this time. But there we go, you guys. So that is what happens if you mix a, a Merle pit bull with a beautiful snow leopard. And I have to say the mixes are quite intriguing. They're a little bit more all over the place than usual. I thought they would be a little more dramatic, but that's okay. There's always a chance to try another mix in the future. So leave your comments down below with suggestions for future crossbreed mixes you would like to see and for a chance to be chosen by the random comment generator to become one of our lab assistants and one of our curious crossbreeds. And if you guys would like to join Join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time bye bye